up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 nissan frontier sv courtesy of younger nissan in frederick maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i'm in this one today of course because it has been completely redesigned for the 2022 model year not only that this is a little pitch to the dealership i guess you could say but if you were to purchase any nissan at younger nissan i will see you get double the powertrain warranty if you want to go that route because typical powertrain warranty on all nissans is five years sixty thousand miles but Again, if you get it from there, 10 years, 120,000 miles. So that is definitely pretty nice as well. So in this video, I will of course be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering wheel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all of that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. So when it comes to pricing for the 2022 Frontier SV, pricing will start at $30,540 for the King Cab 4x2. Crew Cab 4x2 goes for $32,140. Then of course, if you wanted to add four wheel drive, add $3,200 for the King Cab and $3,000 for the Crew Cab. But regardless of which configuration that you go with, the power plant on the Frontier is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a 3.8 liter direct injected V6, putting out 310 horsepower at 6,400 RPM, 281 pound feet of torque, coming in at 4,400 RPM, power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through a nine speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.5 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 18 in the city 24 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 17 city 22 then on the highway for the four wheel drive so then now that we have gotten all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's put the acceleration here to the test first and uh let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 nissan frontier here up to speed all right in three two one That's actually not bad. I didn't mind that. There is a decent amount of acceleration to that. This is a somewhat larger vehicle. You know, it's a truck after all, but shouldn't have any issues with merging onto the highway. I'll just put it that way. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes that come standard on the new 2022 Frontier. As far as that braking feel goes, it's perfect. I would say it's a little bit more on the firm side, which I personally enjoy. I don't like soft braking feels. So for that reason, I actually really like the braking on the Frontier actually. And touching on suspension and handling, actually according to Nissan, there is a new and improved suspension for the 2022 model year. Up front, you're gonna get an independent double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, over slug multi-link rear suspension with this solid axle front and rear stabilizer bars. And as far as ride quality goes, it's actually been perfectly fine on my short test drive here today. I've definitely had no issues there. But now, let me touch on the steering feel because it is weighted, I'm gonna say beautifully, except for at lower speeds. I really like the steering feel when you're driving just naturally like I'm doing right now because it is a heavier weight to the steering, which I personally enjoy. It gives you that better driver feedback, instantly pointing you in the direction that you wanna go. But at low speeds, it's almost like there's no power steering whatsoever. It's kind of reminiscent of the Alfa Romeo 4C in my personal opinion. I remember driving that thing thinking, this is the heaviest steering feel in the world because there wasn't any power steering. And that's how this vehicle feels at low speeds when you're maybe just backing out of a parking lot or something. It's crazy. I don't mind it. It's probably just something you're gonna have to get used to. But as far as cabin noise goes, it's been perfectly fine in my short test drive here today. And I would say the Frontier is probably one of the better trucks out there when it comes to cabin noise. It's almost non-existent. There isn't any wind noise or anything like that coming into the cabin. So I'm definitely a big fan of that. And then touching on visibility, it's a truck. You're not gonna have any issues there. So I can see perfectly fine out the back. So that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Nissan Frontier. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Nissan Frontier with a fresh new look for 2022. It definitely looks good up front. I love it a million times better than the previous generation. Not that the previous generation was bad, but I think they had that design for quite a long time. So it was about time for the Frontier to be refreshed and they did a good job with it in my personal opinion. But let's go ahead and start up front. Of course you have that brand new Nissan logo looking good front and center. When it comes to the grill of the SV, it will be body colored with a gloss black metallic interior perimeter. Definitely looks good as well. Steel front skid plates coming with the crew cab only. So you will not get that with the King cab. So wanted to emphasize that. 
halogen headlights do come standard to the sides there. LED signature headlights are going to be optional. Automatic feature coming standard as well. LED daytime running lights optional. LED fog lights go for $250. And of course, let me get a little bit closer for this next part. You guys can see the Frontier etched into the front portion of the hood there, and that definitely looks good as well. But last thing I wanted to mention, if you look down below there, you guys can see some front tow hooks towards the bottom then as well but that pretty much rounds out the front again very good looking front end let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of this one all right so now since we are around to the side black window surrounds do come standard body colored power adjustable side mirrors coming standard and heated side mirrors are going to be optional if you wanted to go that route and again like I was mentioning to you guys, the Frontier SV is available as a king cab or a crew cab. We actually do have the crew cab. So that is currently what you guys are looking at on the side here. When it comes to the wheel configuration, 17 inch six spoke aluminum alloy wheels come standard. And if you want those side step rails, that goes for around $410 and they are available for the crew cab only so we don't have them today but i was able to get in and out of this thing perfectly fine without them i'll say that but anyways pretty much rounds out the side let's go ahead and make our way to the back of the frontier all right so now since we are around back of this one tailgate spoiler you guys can kind of see that I'll try to get up a little bit closer so i can show you but it's not the major it's just a slight little tailgate spoiler back there so i wanted to show you guys that of course you have that frontier lettering etched into that rear tailgate as well looks good led taillights actually coming standard on the sv i absolutely love that as far as the towing capacity goes if you were to go with one of the uh optional towing packages you guys could see that tow hitch down below there this one can tow up to 6270 pounds so did want to mention that as well and just below it all you guys could see there is a single exhaust outlet tucked away so so having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around to the back of the Frontier, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a dampened tailgate actually. So when you open this one up, it's going to fall slowly as opposed to just crashing down like some other pickup trucks will do. So did like that. Once opened up, as far as the bed length goes, it comes in at 73.3 inches, which is a little bit over six feet, which is plenty respectable. As far as the width goes, that comes in at 61.4 inches. And then the width between the wheel wells is going to come in at 44.5 inches. And overall, as far as max payload capacity, that comes in at 1600 pounds in case you were curious. But did want to mention there is a factory spray on bed liner that is optional. We do have that. I would definitely recommend that. So that's what you're looking at right now there is a 120 volt power outlet that is optional again we have that as well in the bed that is pretty darn cool so you could charge up your drill or your circular saw or whatever you want to do back there overhead cargo bed lighting coming standard there are bed rail caps as well as expected and led under rail bed lighting is going to be optional but i do like the led bed lighting that we have in the back there it definitely looks very good but now let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear seats on the frontier as far as rear legroom goes it's going to differ obviously between the king cab and the crew cab king cab comes in at 26.2 inches crew cab however comes in at 33.2 inches so for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the rear seats i will say 26.2 it's probably going to be better left for storage tools things like that but the 33.2 should be plenty fine to fit a six foot adult like myself i will say that but 60 40 split flip up bench seating coming standard on the crew cab rear center armrest with cup holders coming with the crew cab only and there were plenty of charging ports not only a standard phone charger you also have a usb charger as well and yet again another 120 volt charger as well and i love those in trucks specifically because they come in use more often than you think and if you wanted that rear sliding window that is actually going to come in the crew cab only not the king cab so i am able to show it to you guys always like rear sliding windows and pickup trucks i feel like they're a necessity so it is a manual sliding window but i do love that it's there but then making your way to the front seats manually adjustable front seats coming with the king cab six-way power our driver's seat with two-way lumbar support for the crew cab cloth seating is going to come standard leather seating is going to be optional for the crew cab only heated front seats also optional for the crew cab only as far as seat comfort goes that was actually plenty fine even though they were manually adjustable and they're not leather or anything still 
seating was plenty fine i would see no issues whatsoever in taking a long road trip even in the frontier so that was definitely on point as far as the steering wheel goes it is tilt it is not telescoping unfortunately it is leather wrapped for the crew cab and we do have that today that i like and if you wanted a heated steering wheel that is going to be optional on the crew cab only but having said that i still was able to find my perfect driving position but I still wouldn't have minded if they added a telescoping steering wheel to this thing because that would of course assist with finding an even better driving position especially for taller adults maybe somebody over six foot so wanted to mention it but anyways let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here is you have your brand new nissan logo found all the way to the top and all your buttons are on one side there is lock unlock and then that remote start is going to be optional on the crew cab that goes for 375 dollars that's a circular button towards the top there but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here simply put my phone in the brake and press that silver engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so once started up, when it comes to the gauge cluster, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer on your right. There's a decent sized digital display front and center. And so to control what is on that digital gauge cluster, there actually are steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel. And actually, it gives you some pretty cool specs, including some off-road specs. It gives your angle of the front wheels. Also gives your elevation, it looks like as well, which is pretty cool. Gives your engine temp, outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty as well. But I like the off-road specs that the Frontier gives you. So that was pretty clever by Nissan to add that. And of course, you can have a digital speedometer as well. But then making our way to overall interior quality, if you wanted a power moonroof, that is going to be optional on the crew cab. Home link controls go for $110, another option. When that comes with a frameless rear view mirror as well. So that's pretty cool. LED interior lighting coming standard. Dual zone climate control coming with the crew cab as well. Wireless phone charger is going to be optional on the crew cab. But overall, as far as interior quality goes it is very practical i would describe it as that there's a little bit of contrast stitching just above the passenger side glove box there just in front of the shifter you have a little bit of rubberized storage so things don't slide around just behind that you'll have dual cup holders yet even more rubberized storage just behind them and within the center armrest you have a 12 volt power outlet and a good bit of storage within there and actually some little holders for pens and pencils and probably a larger permanent marker maybe as well. So also another 12 volt power outlet to the right of the uh, climate control information there too. So overall, interior quality will definitely get the job done in the new Frontier. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech because it gets better. Eight inch color touchscreen display coming with the King Cab, nine inch color touchscreen display then coming with the Crew Cab. And that's the one you guys are looking at right now. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming with either Android Auto, Apple CarPlay coming with either of those as well factory navigation system is going to be available as well and of course you can check out your radio information up on that screen and when it comes to the sound systems of the frontier you will find six speakers coming standard but did want to mention there is a premium package that goes for two thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars that gives you a 10 speaker fender sound system and so we don't have that system here today we actually have the technology package and i'll touch on that in a little bit here but anyways let's go ahead and turn to the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out our six speaker sound system that we have here today that's kind of fun actually a decent amount of bass for a six speaker sound system gotta give it credit there wouldn't have minded the fender sound system of course if you're into music definitely go with the fender but that sound system wasn't bad, I gotta be honest, for a six speaker sound system, so I didn't mind it. But last thing I wanna mention to you guys on that infotainment screen at least, is when you do put the Frontier in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system. It's all pretty boring at this point. But now is the time of going to touch on that technology package, which by the way, goes for $990. That's the one that gives you all the advanced safety if you were interested. That's going to include lane departure warning, blind spot warning with rear cross traffic alert, a rear sonar system, aka rear parking sensors, reverse automatic braking, high beam assist, and adaptive cruise control then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the 2022 Frontier SV, I do like the redesign. I think it looks dang good, especially compared to where it was previously. So big fan of that. Competitive pricing, double the powertrain warranty at Younger Nissan. I'm going to pitch it again because 
I absolutely love that. 10 years, 120,000 miles on the powertrain is definitely a ton of peace of mind there. As far as room for improvement goes, I wouldn't have minded a telescoping steering wheel. I think just about all vehicles these days have that. So I think Nissan should add that. And not a ton of room in the back seats if you go with the King Cab, of course, but the Crew Cab wasn't bad, so. Anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.